Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to create a more classic pocket on the brassies. Um, it's a really easy adjustment, and I'll show you when you're done. This is the front of one that I've done. It's going to look like this. So instead of having the top stitching on the outside that secures the pocket down, instead it's going to be a more classic pocket where you can stick your hand in. It's secured along the back. If I can get that straight. Secured along the back like that. You don't see anything on the front except the top stitching along the pocket edge and then you can stick your hand in. Um, so this was requested by someone and I'm going to show you kind of a quick modification on how to do that. Um, to start, you're going to need your um, front leg piece of the brassies, so that's here. I'm going to ignore some of my extra markings here. And then you're going to need, um, this is the pocket piece that you would trace off of the pattern. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's got that little line here. Um, but instead of using this, you're going to, it has this line right here, you're going to trace off a new piece that is literally just pretty much the same thing with a little bit of extra along the edge. And that extra is going to be the seam allowance. I used a 3 8 seam allowance there. Um, so this is the same, you can see this is the same shape. I just traced it, but I added a 3 8 seam allowance along the edge here. Um, so you're going to cut out, you know, two of these that are mirror images. You've got your front pieces that are mirror images. And I've done that, unfortunately this fabric makes it a little bit hard to see, but I've done that, I have a, a gray piece that matches my new pocket piece here. And I have the front of my brassies here. Now it's important when you're sewing your brassies, no matter what kind of pockets you're sewing on them, to keep the crotch seam and the center front, or in the pocket edge safe, uh, separate. So this is the pocket edge. You can tell that it's the pocket edge because it goes a little bit higher, not quite as low not quite as deep of a curve curve as the center front. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, first step is going to be lining up our new pocket piece, right sides together um, with that pocket curve edge, and we're just going to sew our 3H seam allowance that we made on the piece right along there. I use a straight stitch. Um, you could use a serger. It gives a little bit of extra bulk and a seam that's not going to be seen. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn that seam at 3 eighths of an inch. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it so we have the wrong sides showing. I'm going to press the seam toward the pocket, and then I'm going to do what we call an understitch. Um, understitching is when you stitch the seam allowance um, on the underside towards, um, usually toward like a lining edge or a pocket edge. So I'm going to iron it and press it here and then I'm going to understitch right along here. Um, and that's going to help the pocket roll really well to the inside so you don't see any of it on the outside. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, um, so I pressed it toward the pocket side. This is the pocket over here. This is the um, main front and this is both the wrong side of each. So I've got my sewing machine here, and I just line up this previous stitch line with the edge of my presser foot, and then my needle is just going to be just to the right of that. So I just go ahead and start sewing. Sewing it down, kind of keeping it pulling it apart as I go so none of that pocket gets tucked in there. I don't usually sew one-handed, but hopefully this is going okay here. So this is understitching. It's not required, but it's going to provide a nice finish. Um, see on the other side that the line is against the pocket side of stitching 
Um, and then when I come over here, don't mind the bit of mess. I like to call it a creative mess. When I come over here to my pressing board, it's going to press really nicely toward the inside. It's just gonna roll just the way that we want it to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And then I'll go back over and grab my other pattern piece and show you what to do next. Okay, so um, I finished my understitching my pressing and I forgot to mention I also usually trim this edge. If you're using a knit, it's not gonna fray, so I usually just cut it. If you're using a woven, you're gonna wanna finish that edge with, in some way with a serger or a zigzag stitch. Um, so now you've got that on there and I'm just gonna fold it. It should sit really nicely now. So this is, again, you're looking at the wrong side. My fabric makes it difficult to tell. Now, in addition to the new pocket piece that you made, that you just used, that you just sewed on, you're gonna cut two of the traditional pocket pieces. And that is going to line up right here. So that's actually, that should fit perfectly, assuming that you, you measured your pattern pieces, right? Um, and you're just gonna go ahead and sew this along here. You are not going to catch the front at all. So you're gonna pull this back, pin it along here, and then go ahead and sew or serge along this curve. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, so now I've surged those edges together. Um, you flip the, the pocket should be free. You should not have caught any part of this in there. And again, we're looking at the wrong side. So we're just kind of flatten it out here. Make sure that it's sitting really nicely. And then I usually baste or pin right here and right here, just so the pocket doesn't shift around as you're sewing the pants front and back together. So then when you flip that over, you got a beautiful pocket. Now I didn't mention in here top stitching. If you want to top stitch this edge right here, the pocket scoop, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can do that now. You wanna do that before you start serging the front and the back together. Um, you know, you can add a couple of lines of, of top stitching like I did to this pocket over here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and do to this one over here. Um, so that's it, that's how to create a more traditional hand pocket on your brassies. All right, see you at the sew along.